how's it going? It's almost midnight here. I've been thinking a lot and I've come to a conclusion. To let you all know how serious I'm about this, um, I'm not going to use my... Excuse me, I am going to use my real name. I'm not Jordan for this video, I'm John Curry. Yeah, in case you're wondering, that's my name. But been thinking so much and uh, I have to leave the church I'm abandoning my channel by the end of this week all my videos are gonna be off I'm gonna leave this up for like three days just so all my friends you know I don't want them to be like what happened to them so I want them to be able to see this video uh, I mean if anyone wants to save my videos for posterity I'd be flattered but I I disavow everything I've said I've thought a lot about um what Lauren has had to say, and I realized that he really does have some very, very legitimate reasons why he did what he did. This is tough, you know, man. This was this was a big part of me. This is what I was doing. You know, I was putting so much effort into making songs, videos, original content, and I had fun. I had a lot of fun. But the time has come. I thought about it. I'm like, I really listened to Lauren's arguments, you know, and the reasons why he did what he did. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, I mean, let me run down my personal rationale. Okay. So what does he say? He says, um, well, the first thing, thing one, as he would say, is he was raised by his mom. Um, for any of you out there, Australians, British, I know Lauren Alves all around the world, but uh, single parent families are extremely rare here in America. Extremely rare. Almost everyone is raised by their biological mother and father. So that is, again, thing one. Um, thing two is he did $700 worth of work for one of his siblings. He asked for, in return, about $10 worth of food, maybe $20, you know, with the rate of money as time goes on. And he didn't get that. And then, about a year later, he did some work also, coincidentally, came to exactly $700 for another sibling, asked for, again, about $10 worth of food and didn't get it. Now, we all process grief in a different way, and we all deal with disappointment in a different way. Some people might cry, some people might uh, lash out angrily. With Lorne, the way he dealt with all that hurt and disappointment, it was to steal a large amount of money from people. Um, people make a big deal about how he took the life savings of an elderly couple, which he did. He did. I won't pretend he didn't. But that was just how he dealt with that grief. We all grieve differently, right? We all deal with diff disappointment in a different way. Um, I find that people tend to hyper-focus on the fact that he stole from Betty and her husband, the late Eric, and forget that he also stole tens of thousands of dollars from a professor. Never forget that. I never forget that. So yeah, that's why his head was messed up at the time, I believe is how he puts it. Um, I'm not going to lie, usually when someone says that they're on heavy drugs, I don't believe that was ever the case with Lauren. But uh, yeah, so that's thing two. Yeah, so if you just look at his reasons, his hardcore solid reasons why he did the things he did, you know. Um... If I was let down by my siblings, if I was a one-year-old, two-year-old child, let's say one-year-old child, and I had a toy stolen away from me by another child who wanted to play with it, which I'm sure is something that has never happened in all of recorded history. It's a rare, rare event. Children never act in such a way. But if I had that happen to me when I was little... Would I grow up and decide to molest an underage girl? 
Of course not. That's fucking preposterous. But you understand why Lorne did some of the things he did, right? Right? Of course. So, um... I'm leaving. I'm abandoning my channel. Uh, I'm gonna de dedicate myself just to my original music. I have another channel, in case you're interested. And... It's hard, though. Because I have to say goodbye. I made some real good friends. Um, it's time to leave them, too. Because, you know, time is just going by. And realistically, these people, what do I have in common with them anymore? But uh, guys like Clobbering Time, who was always so encouraging to me. His producer, Rami, such a cool guy. Uh, TCAP Recipe has been very supportive. Uh, Andy Burkett, Shins Koala, you know, people are so good to me, very kind. I know I'm going to forget names, so please just forgive me. I am, that's me, I'm just going to forget people's names. Katie Kev, Sirius himself, Asshole, I know I'm forgetting people, they're so kind. And as far as the ladies... <clears throat> the ladies of the church uh, I'm going to be missing you I flirted with so many of you came on to some of you to be honest that's what it was uh, I hit on you pretty hard uh, so many so many women uh, Scarlet Ebony Danny G, Jess H, they're married women. Why would I even do that? Um, the Great Babsby, call me. You have my number, call me. Uh, Kelp Pill, sexy voice, Kelp Pill. Uh, newer people like Danny G, she's cool. Oh, I'm gonna forget names, and I hate that. I don't only want to feel left out. Um, let me take a sip of water here. Of course, Tiffany Lockhart, which I believe she has a restraining order against me now. I can't blame you, Tiff. I can't. Ember and Fear, no. All the things I said about her. Oh, my God. All the extremely flattering things I said about her. Um, I want to meet her. Beautiful woman. So talented. All the times I called her talented, smart, funny, hot. I take it all back. I mean, it's still true, but I take it all back. So, what else can I tell you? Uh, so many other ones. Ron, wrote his two tootsie. How did I almost forget her, right? Uh, again, I forget. I, I apologize for any woman I've forgotten. There's so many of you, honestly. Um, Betty. Betty's still awesome. I'm not going to pretend she isn't. I'm not going to sit here and lie and pretend she's not. But, um... Yeah. I'm just on a different path, man. And I think it's wrong. You guys making fun of this guy. This guy is a victim. This guy is nothing. This guy is nothing. He, you know, he has been spit upon by life itself. Everything. And I will not condone anybody making fun of him. I'm not going to say you guys are bad people for what you do, but I've washed my hands. I'm gone. I'm gone. <sighs> Lauren Armstrong. Lauren, I'm sorry. If the Cornville Mafia is watching this, I'm sorry. All the videos are going down. Lauren never meant to do it. His head was messed up at the time. I think that says it all. It's so dark in here. I can barely see. Hold on, hold on. It's. I'm sorry, it's so dark. Uh, where's my freaking light? Uh, how do I make this thing work? Okay, so the light is there. And that's damn bright. And then what we have here is... John Curry mode equals 
Joran Comedy. April Fools.